you guys were at the uh, the Nintendo thing earlier, like, uh, so tell me what happened. Nintendo held up a banner and said, Nintendo is back, bitches. <laughs> games, 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 damn it. They announced that they'll be releasing DSi XL March 28th, and it's 190 bucks, which is kind of a lot, but it's a big, cool system, and it's coming out in a couple of colors, so that'll be great and all. But really, the big surprising announcements were that they have a lot of games coming out in the next couple of months. I mean, uh, Mario Galaxy 2 is May, May 23rd. 23rd, yeah. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Metroid Other M was the big surprise because that's coming out a month later. Yeah. I think we all kind of knew that Mario Galaxy would be out this spring just because last year Shigeru Miyamoto said, oh yeah, we could publish it, you know, fall 2009, but we have two Mario games coming out then, we don't want to do that. So I think the game has been pretty much finished since last fall and they've just been taking the time to polish it up. It's been a while since I've played Galaxy, but, you know, it is essentially Galaxy, but with like more weird stuff going on. Like the main additions that they showed off was the fact they have Yoshi. When they actually showed the title screen for Super Mario Galaxy 2 and it was Mario sitting on the Yoshi, I was pretty excited because I really love um, Mario and Yoshi when, and things that Yoshi can do, especially um, when Yoshi had powers from you know sucking in turtle shells and stuff. So, so it awesome. was kind of cool to see that Yoshi getting powers was something that's coming back. Yeah. The one thing I don't like about Yoshi in, in Galaxy 2 is that he has that stupid baby voice again. They, they they took that away in New Super Mario Bros. Wii and they gave him like the old school vacuum cleaner noise, but now he's like... <laughs> yeah. Just despite the baby in his voice, it is cool that like, for example, you know, much like how Yoshi could take turtle shells, now Yoshi can actually catch bullet bells and even fling them at the crazy robot that has these giant glass nipples. He could do that in um, New Super Mario Brothers Wii also. So it's oh. like there's kind of this, this crossover between the two games. There's a lot of mechanics that I think are actually shared in common between the two games. Yeah. Uh, and it's just like some of them work in a strictly 2D way and some of them work in a 3D way. And it's, it's interesting and still they, they each feel unique but, but consistent. <laughs> I was definitely more interested in hearing about uh, Metroid Other M though, because like I still can't believe kind of Ninja Gaiden meets Metroid. So I mean, how did that look or play? And the concept of Metroid meeting Ninja Gaiden seems a little weird. I think. Um, you think, well, how are these two things going to work together because Metroid is so slow, methodical, exploratory, Ninja Gaiden is so fast and intense and hardcore, but I think they've done a really good job of kind of uniting those two playstyles. Metroid Other End is really, really fast, and the game mechanics, the, like the interface, is really streamlined. You hold the Wii remote sideways, you don't use the joystick, you don't do any pointing. I mean, you do do some pointing, actually, but but the bulk of the game is just controlled with the D-pad and two buttons, and then you have the A button to, to turn it into the morph ball. Time to go. The way it plays is really, really smooth. It feels properly Metroid-ish, but at the same time, like I can definitely feel the Ninja Gaiden in it. There's an evade. Yeah, There's there is an evade button, but you have to stand still to do it and then press evade at the last second, which and then I'd rather just run around and die. But then she does do this kind of just that reuse style, like, you know, backflip of a shell. So activates her jetpack, so it looks kind of cool, like a Samus style backflip that she learned from Ryu. There are certain points where you need to go into the missile mode. You can't just fire missiles. You, uh, you have to go into a first-person perspective that's actually very similar to Metroid Prime. You aim at missiles at, at enemies, and uh, like that becomes really important for opening secrets and for uh, defeating bosses, and you have to know... Yeah. There's not as much scanning as in Metroid Prime. There's just a little time. There's a little bit, but it's not like you gotta scan every door lock or every guy walking around. Yeah. It's, like, it's more like, oh, look, here's a spaceship. And I tried scanning an enemy and blew it up, so. <laughs> yeah, it sounds awesome. Like, I, I guess, like, the cool thing, too, is that if, if we're gonna see Mario in May and then Metroid in June, it really leaves, like, the fall open for more Nintendo games, which we have yet to see, like Zelda, potentially Pikmin. Uh, yeah, it's, I, like, I'm really looking forward to E3 now, too, to see, like, what they're gonna show there.